Before it was the Ohio River, this weekend it's the Mississippi. As soaked cities like Cincinnati try to recover from flooding like this, more damage is taking place downstream from Illinois to Louisiana. Extra shows you the heartache at one of the hardest hit areas. A few days of spring rain swells the Ohio River, submerging an entire town in more than 50 feet of murky water. Floods of almost biblical proportions are sweeping the area, but Falmouth, Kentucky is hit the worst. When we stepped outside, the water was waist deep. I was afraid I was going to get washed away. Residents fled to this Red Cross shelter and waited for the river to recede. This is what they found when they returned home. A carpet of mud is all that's left of Brenda Lovelace's dream house. It's something that you worked hard for to build and all that, and it just, it's gone. Butch Rarick Sr. started to speak, but was too overwhelmed to continue. The inside of Skip Taylor's house is in ruins, but like so many other people here, he tries to stay positive. After the uh, devastation wears off, we know that you got to get back out there and put your lives together. People here are trying to do just that, but the damage they face is mind-boggling. This house was found at the riverbank, a half mile from its foundation. In town, this sign is a sad understatement. Most businesses are slippery with mud, cash registers are caked with it, and merchants are trying desperately to salvage anything they can. Brent Spears' father owned a pharmacy. He's trying to save one shelf. On the ceiling, there was uh, prescription bottles hanging in the ceiling tile between the tracks, uh, mud, the ceiling. It, all you had to do was cough, and the ceiling fell in. But this is where Spear found a lot of his medicine. We thought we might be able to save it and let the prescription companies see what we had to maybe get some credit on it. But the, the health department came in and said, throw it away now. Just about everything is being thrown away. The National Guard dumps load after load, each shovelful the remnants of somebody's life. This, this whole town has been devastated. I mean, we couldn't have dropped B-52 arc light mission in here and done any more damage than what this flood has done to it. National Guard Captain Michael Ferguson says the damage in Falmouth is heartbreaking, and so are many of the efforts to save it. The uh, north side of town and stuff would be condemned and just completely demolished. In addition to property, the waters claim five lives. A mother and her 14-year-old daughter died here. Their neighbor also died. Someone who misses him wrote the words, I love you, in mud. Butch Rarick Jr. lived next door. Some neighbors said they went over and trying to get him to leave later that night, but he just refused to leave. Besides food and shelter, the Red Cross is giving out tetanus shots because people have been exposed to raw sewage. You want to relax your arm. You might want to take some talent on tomorrow. The Licking River now is at a trickle, but before the next rains, people in Falmouth have a decision to make. Stay in the town they love or leave the river they fear. This is the worst flooding in Kentucky in 60 years. Damage so far is estimated at nearly $350 million.